Oh no, that's really flat, huh? I have kind of the, a bad habit to draw people that I ride with. It's not like I'm trying to do that. It just happens. You're the first guy that I actually left behind. Good morning, guys. Eight o'clock in the morning. I'm on a new location. Obviously, we're riding bikes today. I'm not sure how obvious it actually is that I'm riding bikes all over Europe on a different location every week. But today I am going to be riding in Hamburg. I'm meeting up with Martin. He has a shop in Hamburg, Velopunkt. He just arrived with bikes. What's up, man? How you doing? Good morning. All good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Check these bikes out, dude. This is 100% new or not? It is, it is. A brand new stork bike martin has prepared a route for us kind of interesting it's pretty much 100 percent flat so it's a little bit like the netherlands any specials about today's route we will cross the old elbe river tunnel which is super nice apparently we're gonna take an elevator to cross the river five minutes to get out of the city that's pretty good well it's saturday morning we saw guys walking on the street with big cans of beer. They're still partying from last night. We're going out for a ride. Morning. So this is only for pedestrians and cyclists. Obviously you can't come here with a car. If you want to go from the one side of the river to this side of the river, you'll have to take the elevator and the, and the tunnel, or you can go by ferry. That's what we're going to do at the end of the day. Five minutes later. already doing the hike and bike really confusing route we're still like in the 10 first 10 minutes you know it's always kind of shit to get out of the crazy part of the city <laughs> but no way please take a different route thank you for your understanding i don't understand this why didn't they put a sign like 10 minutes back we're in the biggest harbor well the second biggest harbor of europe Hamburg, trying to get out of the city. This is shit. Mate, I understand why your bike shop is not in this location. He normally doesn't ride here because of this. Uh, but how are we gonna get over this bridge? 2,000 years later. After the elevator, I thought we were there. I thought we were already out of the crazy part of the city, but no. We had to go through this harbor area, which was kind of crap. An hour later, we finally arrived in the Altus land, which is German for the old country. Martin told me, apparently the Dutch came here, was kind of old, they built some houses and they started fruit plantation. It's a very good area to grow apples. This is now the largest fruit plantation area in Northern Europe. I was gonna do some intervals in this ride today. I kind of dropped Martin. Hey, how are you? I'm okay, but you're too fast, man. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I want to do at least one or two more of these, but we also have to get back home, so I don't want to blow you up completely. Try. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of all these uh, apple trees. So this is what a million apple trees look like. And alongside the road, everywhere you see all these signs with apple farm, apple store, apple tree, apple this, apple that. Oh no. Shit. That's really flat, huh? Yeah. This was gonna be the flattest ride I've ever done. Just like a tire. It is. <laughs> well, quick swap and uh, we're back on the bike or? Stimmt. Ich schick dir meinen Standort, yeah? So? All good. So what? Pick me up. Okay. We're gonna meet at my store. Luckily, Martin's store is very nearby and somebody from the store is gonna pick you up? Yeah. That's nice. I'm gonna continue the route because guys, you, do, you know, I don't do junk miles. I need to get my training in, but I will meet Martin at the shop. I mean, it's, it doesn't make sense for me to wait here. I'll just gonna ride back, meet him at the shop, 
then he will fix the tire and then we'll ride back to Hamburg since his car is there at the hotel anyway. Okay, see you later. <laughs> the tubeless wheels were not tubeless, so now he's stuck. This is the store, Velo Punt. Hey man! Hey! So, how's it going? Did you swap the tire? Do you want a coffee or what? We have a little bit of time, but not too long, because um, I want to be back in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I guess we can have a quick coffee or juice. Check this out, at Velo Punt you get local apples, and then they go into a cold press, and that's how they make your apple juice. This is the best apple juice you can get. The story of the shop. What you can do here is um, you can try the stock bikes, you can um, make a test ride, you can enjoy, enjoy the bikes in this very nice area with a lot of apples. I have seen a super cool store in Stellenbosch in South Africa and I thought that man it's no store like this in, in, uh, in Hamburg or in Germany maybe even. Oh, I opened just now three weeks ago this kind of store um, in the south of Hamburg with a perfect coffee, everything is self-made and uh, yeah, with super cool bikes, with stuff like that. So if you're in the north of Germany, this is sort of the, the, the shop you can, yeah. you can go to get your bike serviced or start for a ride, end your ride. Great. Obviously get some food, get some coffee, get some apples. I'm gonna get some apple juice. Super good. It's so different than normal apple juice. Yeah. This is cinnamon. I love cinnamon. You should eat more too. Yeah. I will now. You're right. Oh yeah, yeah. you already, already forgot that. Huh? I'm listening to you. I have kind of the, a bad habit to drop people that I ride with. It's not like I'm trying to do that. It just happens. You're the first guy that I actually left behind with a flat. So wow. I feel bad. I did ask you to take the flat kit. But anyway, we fixed it. I almost finished my um, amazing apple pie bread. What was the name again? French bread. French Brooklyn. Fra French Brooklyn. We need to get back into the city. We're gonna take a ferry. Yeah, this is where the ferry is gonna take us to the other side of the river so we don't have to go through all that crappy shit at the harbor. It's gonna continue straight into the city, which is over there. Hey, airplane. Little cobble test for the air fast. It's kind of stiff. <laughs> Three and a half hours, we did 112k. That's pretty good, man. 32 average speed. Yeah, there's a big difference in average and normalized because I did those intervals. So it's 200 average, 245 normalized power. Pretty good. The weather? It was forecasted to rain. It's pretty much all morning, but we didn't have any. So I'm super happy. Dude, thanks so much for bringing out this bike. And the next time in Hamburg, call me. I'm gonna call this guy. Tonight I'm flying out to Krakow and tomorrow morning I'm riding in Krakow in Poland. Pretty crazy, two cool bike trips in one week, that's the first time. So next week the video is going to be in Krakow. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, do not miss that. Go check out Velopunkt as well, we're going to see you next time. See ya! We had only 86 meters of climbing. This is probably the flattest ride I've ever done, ever. Even my rides in the Netherlands, which are below sea level, have more elevation than this. Yo, check it out, tomorrow riding some hills in Krakow. And meeting up with a bike show, another YouTuber. 